Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video, I will show you how to use the minimum and maximum formulas in Excel to calculate, well, the minimum and maximum value, and also the range of your data, which is basically the difference between the two. Well, we're going to use two formulas for this one, and as an example, we have here the data from European Union populations from 2001 until 2012. First, we calculate for each row the minimum for each, sorry, for each column, for each year, that is, the minimum and maximum value. Well, we can use the, do this in two ways. We can just type it in or we can use the formula uh, insert function. Uh, button. We'll just use type here, min, and you can see there's an autocomplete thingy here and you can just select it or you can just go on typing. Well, and in this um, square here, Excel shows you how to input the data. Can, there's basically two ways. You can just type in one cell reference or a number and then uh, insert the semicolon or you can just insert a whole range here as well which is what we're going to do a cell range oh and we're missing one so we'll make it a little bit bigger by moving the mouse to the corner clicking the left mouse button and dragging it up all right that's the minimum value which is we can we ha it happens to be quite close to the bottom so it's pretty easy to spot and which is Liechtenstein makes sense pretty small country all right the same for the maximum, we'll use the, uh, the insert function button now. It's here on the most recently used, max, we click OK. We get a range, the, the entry thing is here. Well, as you can see, you, can, you could potentially input all the individual cells, but let's just click this one here so it becomes a bit smaller. And just drag the range and click this button or alternatively click enter well this is all we want it's okay so this is the minimum value this is the maximum value well we want these for all the years so we'll just click uh, the uh, top no sorry the bottom right corner and click the left mouse button and we can just drag it and we can just drag it and there we are and as you can see if we click in the, this formula here it all Excel automatically because it's like you want to anyway uh, the same amount of columns that you drag it to the right um, it moves all the cell references as well so let's just make a proper table here minimum maximum let's make these bold since they are and we're going to calculate the range now what's the range the range is the difference between the minimum and the maximum value. Uh, this can sometimes also call, be called spread or, well, depending on what branch of mathematics or statistics or whatever. But the easy thing is just, uh, we can just say, okay, is the minimum minus, sorry, is the maximum minus the minimum. Uh, and we're going to do the same here. We're gonna just going to drag it here. And there we are. And as you can see, the range is very much determined by the maximum value, which makes sense because this is only 30,000. It's probably Liechtenstein all the way. And this is probably the sum tone. Yeah, this is the <laughs> sum of all, of course. All right. Um, but you can use this, of course, for all kinds of different data sets. Pretty simple, but very, very useful. All right. At least I hope you found this video useful. Um, you can, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button above this video. And you can uh, click on the link to my website, worksmarter.tv in the description below the video and see what other stuff uh, I have to offer there about Excel. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.